I'm Ben Smith, a Senior Developer Advocate for AWS Serverless. This is a quick introduction video for AWS Step Functions new Workflow Studio. Workflow Studio is a new feature from Step Functions that lets you design workflows directly from within the AWS Management Console. To get started, I click on the Create State Machine button and then I choose to design my workflow visually. This opens up Workflow Studio. Now you can see that Workflow Studio is split into three components. The left hand panel is where I can search and choose workflow states. These can be task states or actions such as invoking a lambda function, or you can choose workflow states such as choice, parallel or wait. In the center is my workflow design. This is where I drag and drop states to build out my workflow. And on the right hand side is where I'm able to configure each state using editable forms. Here is where I can also apply input output path processing, error handling and try catch blocks. Watch now how I use Workflow Studio to create my workflow. First I search for the Lambda Invoke Task State and I drag that straight into my workflow. Then I give it a name, so I'm going to call this one Detect Sentiment. Now I can choose from this drop down menu which Lambda ARN I want this Lambda function to invoke. Next, I'm going to configure some error handling. I set the retry interval to one second and I set the max number of attempts to two. And then I close this out. Next, I'm going to add another state. Now, this time I'm going to add a choice state. So I click on flow and drag in my choice state. And I'm going to edit one of the rules for my choice state. I click on this edit button here and I click on add conditions. Now I'm going to set a rule here that says when my lambda function detects a sentiment from the JSON input path that is a string equal to the word negative, then it should carry on to the next state. Next I'm going to add a pass state. And finally I'm going to drag in an SNS publish task. I'm going to look for the ARN at a JSON path named topic ARN. And I can inspect the ASL, that's the Amazon States language definition of my workflow by clicking on this button here. And I can jump to the individual definition of each task by clicking on them in the workflow designer window. When I'm ready, I click next and then next again to save my workflow. I'm going to give it the default name, which is my state machine and click create state machine. Now if I want to edit my workflow, I click on the edit button and then I click on this button here that takes me back to Workflow Studio. And I can pick up my workflow exactly where I left off, dragging states and tasks into the workflow as I continue to iterate. For more information on Workflow Studio, visit s12d.com slash workflow studio.